Good afternoon, tubers. Matt and Roy back once again. About 2.30 on uh, Tuesday. Let's see, this is the 20-something of February. I don't know which, but doesn't matter. Point is, this is what you guys are here for. This is going to be the unboxing video of my new Nikon D55 dual lens camera outfit. Let me go over some of the uh, specifications on here. Uh, 16.7x total zoom power and VR image stabilization. And this kit actually has two different lenses. This has is the, uh, let's see, I believe it's the 18 to 55 millimeter and the 55 to 150 millimeter. Uh, 24.2 megapixel DX format CMOS sensor. Very good CMOS sensor. Um, should take decent pictures. Not the highest end uh, DSLR, but definitely good enough for my uh, needs. Designed with an optical low pass filter. Uh, it kind of helps make your pictures look a little bit better without too much extra effort on your part. To let you capture amazingly sharp, rich details and smooth, natural skin tones. Uh, retains high image quality even when cropped photos or lar large prints. You know what, guys? You don't care much about that. You can read it for yourself. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this particular video. This case that I got from BJ's, which is a local um, warehouse club in my area. So if you don't live on the East Coast of the United States, you probably will not know what BJ's is. So it included in this should be the camera itself. The two different lenses, the 18 to 55 millimeter, and I was wrong, the 55 to 300 millimeter lens. These are the two kit lenses that come with it. A uh, two year warranty. It also comes with, uh, wow, okay, two rechargeable batteries. The case, the SD card, and then the Nikon School DVD. The better pictures in five minutes. So let's go ahead and open this up to see if this does indeed include everything that the package says. Be back with you guys in just All a right, moment. All right, Tuber. So now that I have the top off, you can actually see the first thing I see there is the bag they give you. Nice size bag. Just uh, very typical for a DSLR. So good thing there. So that's number one. Number two I see is the DVD, the Nikon School Educate and Inspire Better Pictures in Five Minutes. Looks like some kind of teaching tutorial. Yep, share your best images anytime, anywhere. Make movies easily. Very interesting. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, looks like this to, is to be the warranty card. Yep, the D5500 DSLR body only. That's interesting. I'll have to see if there's a separate warranty for the lenses and the other items in here, but we'll take a look at that later. Next... I see a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Now, I wonder if there's actually two of them in there. Let's go ahead and dump that out. Now, this is just one battery, and the, it says there's supposed to be two, so I'll have to assume that the other battery is probably in with the camera itself. Next here, we have the Nikon VR. This is the 55 to 300 millimeter lens. Kind of see what that looks like. Probably a filter in there. Oh my goodness. And here we go. Go ahead and sit down and open this. Okay, there is a uh, protective cover on that side. And there you go, tubers. That is one monster of a lens. Once again, this is the Nikon DX SVM VR ED HR1. And then there's the other specs there. I'm not a big camera buff, so I actually have no idea what that means. I'm sorry, guys. But it's a Nikon DX lens. Again, 55 to 300 millimeters. Very nice quality lens. You can feel the weight there. And one thing I found very interesting is, check this out. This is the book just for the lens itself. So I'm going to have some very interesting reading coming to me in the uh, next few days. So last but not least is the beast itself. This is, I'm going to move the box down here. Oh, you know what? I tell a lie because take a look at this. You also have the 32 gigabyte um, memory card in here for the, that, it did say it came with, it doesn't look like it's uh, really, let's see what we got here. It's a class 10. So this can do up to 1080p, but if, um, Oh, that's right, because this camera doesn't do 4K. So, yeah, this card should be fine. I'll probably go ahead and uh, upgrade that card um, later on. But for now, that's good enough to get started with. What in the world? 
<laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting, guys. Apparently, they made a mistake. They've included another uh, memory card in here. This is a 32 gigabyte, another SanDisk. This is a PicStore high performance card. That's weird. I'm not sure why, but okay. Oh, party bonus. Got an extra 32 gigabyte card. All right. I guess somebody made a mistake when they put this together. They put two in there. Heck, I'll take it. But let's go ahead and feast our eyes on this beautiful, beautiful camera. Let's go ahead and open this up. <sighs> like open up a good bottle of beer, right? And this is the black one. This did also come in red, but uh, at my local BJ's, the only color available was black, which is fine with me. That's very typical for these. All right, on top here, we do have the warranty programs, the serial number, which I probably shouldn't show you guys, but eh, I don't really care. Interesting, it looks like this was actually printed on collated paper, like old school dot matrix printers used. Eh, I didn't even know any places use those anymore. So those are the warranty cards. Up here, we have all the reading materials. This looks like... A lot of reading. Again, this is probably going to take me quite a few days to go over, but yep, that's all the booklets. So I'll put that over here now. I'll try to arrange that stuff later on. Let's see if we can get to this without too much trouble. Man, looks like they had it taped down. Okay, so right here is the other lens. This should be the smaller. This is, if I can get it open... <laughs> this stuff's really hard to do one-handed. There we go. This is the, yep, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And this is probably the lens I'll be using when I do my vlogs because I don't need something to film me in that, quite that distance. So looking at the two lenses together, you can actually see that there is quite a difference in length. I would say this lens is maybe six inches this has got to be more like a foot or more it's, i'd say 12 to 14 inches long so very nice for the price for 500 dollars that i actually got both these kit lenses a lot of times if you search this camera online um you only get the camera itself without any extras for that price so no lenses no bag no extra battery or anything and that's what i'm going to check next to see if we do indeed have an, a battery in here too here is the very nice Nikon uh, strap, which always reminded me of like a, a work strap, that kind of yellow, like construction site yellow. Very cool. Glad to see that. Next, we have our cables. This is uh, your composite video cable for hooking up to a standard definition TV. Here is your USB cable for transferring your files to a computer. Here is a battery charger, the actual battery charger. That's a pretty big charger. For those of you that are interested, is model number MH24, probably very standard, I'm sure. And I do see it peeking out from there. Let's see if we can slide it out without too much trouble. There is the second battery. And take a look at something here. Okay, yeah, they are the same. So this does indeed come with two batteries and I'll pull one out just to show you what it is it is a Nikon lithium-ion battery pack model EN-EL 14A this is uh, 7.2 volts at 1230 milliamps so this should last a good good long time 1230 milliamp hours is pretty good for a, um, a camera battery all right we're getting down to it this should be the last part let me just make sure yep nothing else in there here is the body of the camera itself. Wow, this is really packed well. So we got bubble wrap because they want to make sure that this thing does not get damaged in shipping. And then we have the camera itself. Here it comes, guys. This is what you've been waiting for. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I know. I should have put it down, but I really don't care. I'm just too excited right now. And there she be, the Nikon D5500 DSLR camera in all of her glory. You can see uh, this is where the lenses go. It does have a built-in flash. Here we have the different options for photo modes. you got some scene modes up there, your different effects. Auto mode, which I probably will use quite a bit. 
So yeah, really nice. I'm not going to say too much about it because I am going to do a separate review of this camera once I learn all the features. But what I will say is the main reason that I purchased this camera is because of this. For vlogging, this was a must for me. This is the flip-out screen. And the reason I say that is a lot of the models out, including the Canon lines, do not offer this. And the reason I like this is if I'm vlogging for myself, I can go ahead and flip this screen forward, and I can actually hold the camera like this. And you can see my ugly mug. And I'm <laughs> no, no. But that is the main reason I bought this, because I want to start using this not only to film um, maybe some abandoned exploration videos, uh, style videos, but um, I want to be able to vlog with it too. And this is the ideal DSLR for doing that. Well, that is it, tubers. An incredible amount of stuff for only $500. Hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing video. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as I say all the time, have a blessed day, everybody.